Hi guys! Today we're gonna make this adorable Halloween themed eyeball plushie. It's beginner friendly. You can customize it and make it different sizes. So let's get started. For this project, we're gonna need four different color yarns. One very dark yarn for pupil, one coordinating color, and then I have white for the back of the eyeball and red for the veins. I don't have black, but if you have black yarns, you can use black yarn. I'm using a 9mm crochet hook for this project. You also need a darning needle and scissors. We're gonna start with the darkest yarn. So we're gonna start with a magic circle. Insert your hook. We're gonna chain one first. And then we're gonna make eight single crochet in the magic circle. One. Two, three, four, oh, sorry. five, six, seven, eight. You can pull the tail to close the loop. Ignoring this loop, we're going to insert it into the first loop, the first V here. Insert your hook, we're going to increase in every stitch. So, single crochet, and then we're going to increase in every stitch. After this rope, you should have 16 single crochets. Okay, so that's gonna be end of this round. Now we're ready to change color. To change color, I'm gonna insert yarn over and I'm gonna bring in the new color. Pull through. Now we're ready to cut the yarn of the first color. I'm leaving the tail here. You can tie a knot to secure both tails just to leave it there so it doesn't slip out. In the next row, we're using the new color. We're going to increase in every stitch. So the first one that I did when I change color is the first single crochet. So in the next color, I'm going to increase. And then single crochet and then increase. Starting the next row, I'm going to increase in every two stitches. Single crochet, single crochet, increase in the third stitch. I didn't use a stitch marker because I kind of recognize the starting point where I change color. But if you are afraid to forget where to start, you can use a stitch marker. That's our last stitch. 
So we're done with this color. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna yarn over first and then we are ready to change to another color. I'm gonna use white for the rest of the eyeball just like this. So now we can also cut the yarn I'm going to tie a knot to secure it as well. So all these tails are going to be inside of the eyeball. So don't worry about threading them in. They're just going to be part of the stuffing. So we're going to single crochet from now on for four rows. Let's go work on the single crochet and then I'll meet you guys when we finish four rows. Okay, so we have four rows of the single crochet in the white. So starting from the next row, we're slowly decreasing. Um, the first row of decrease, we're going to decrease in every two stitches. So this is my first stitch of the decrease. I'm gonna put a stitch marker in just to remember this is my first stitch so two single crochet so we're gonna do the invisible decrease yarn over the front loop and yarn over the next front loop pull the yarn through and then yarn over pull through two loops so this will make it less noticeable and then we're gonna do two stitch two single crochets and decrease again so we're gonna do that for the entire row feel free to pause and then i'll meet you guys at the end of the row Towards the end of the row, I have to finish one more single crochet before I meet the stitch. We're going to decrease every other stitch in the next row. At the end of the previous row, I have one single crochet already. So in this stitch, we are actually, I'm going to remove my stitch marker. So in this row, this is going to be my first stitch. So I have one single crochet and then the next stitch I'm going to decrease. If I can get this hook in. And then I'm going to do one regular single crochet and then decrease. Let's work on this row and then I'll meet you back at the end of the row. I finished this row decreasing in every other stitch. So this is what it looks like so far. We're ready to put some stuffing in. Okay, so I have some stuffing here. All the tails are going to be inside with the stuffing. So don't worry about cutting the tails or threading them in. So let's stuff it really well so that it's nice and bouncy. Don't forget the sides. So let's leave it at that. Let's continue to decrease. So in the next row, I'm going to decrease in every stitch. My last stitch is already a decrease. So starting my next stitch, I'll just keep doing the decrease in every stitch. It might get a little bit tricky, but just give it time, slowly get to the stitch.
we have a few stitches left so at this point let's put a little bit more stopping and then we are ready to close i'm gonna leave a long tail Take this off so before we close let's stop it more You want to slowly push the stuffing to the side to take all the space or oh, it's going to be sloppy. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, all stopped up. Now we're going to yarn this through to close. We're in this stitch, we're going to skip one stitch and go to the next stitch but we're taking just the uh, front loop pull this we're gonna skip the next stitch but go to the next stitch also the front loop skip another stitch skip another stitch once it seems like it's pretty Close pretty well. I'll pick a stitch, thread it over, and pull it through this loop right here. That's our knot. So let's pull it tight, nice and tight. And then I'm just gonna thread this through different places to keep it secure. Doesn't matter where it goes, but just make sure it's kind of nice and tight because it's the one since it's same color it's not going to be noticeable so i'm just going to randomly find some space okay so the final the last bit of the tail we can stop this in you can also clip it if you like, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's our head. To make the body, we're gonna use the blue yarn that we just used. Let's start with the magic circle. Insert the hook, chain one. We're gonna make six single crochet in a magic circle. in the tail to close we're gonna start with the first chain here we're gonna increase in every stitch in the first row so you will get 12 stitches up to the first row feel free to use your stitch marker So after the first row, you should have 12 stitches. And then starting from the next row, we're going to increase in every other stitch. Insert the first stitch. I'm going to mark this as my first stitch. And then the next stitch, I'm going to increase. next stitch regular single crochet and then increase so at the end of this row you should have 16 you should have 18 stitches so after the second row we should have 18 stitches and starting from the next row we're gonna just do regular single crochets so this is my first stitch as the regular single crochet we're gonna do this for we're gonna do this for 
four rows. I'm gonna do this for four rows. So just go around and do all your single crochet and then I'll meet you guys back at the end of the fourth row. Okay, so we are at the end of our fourth row. So you will have four row of single crochets like this. Now we're ready to decrease to decrease, we're doing, doing the same thing, just reverse as we first did in the first half of the, the little body here. So we're gonna single crochet and then we're gonna decrease in every other stitch. Okay, after we decrease for row, we are ready to put some stuffing in. Okay, we're gonna continue to decrease. So the next row we're gonna decrease in every stitch. So it's basically the same routine that we did when we closed the head. But this is size smaller, so it can be a little bit tricky. Just take your time. Now we can cut off the yarn and sew it. Okay, so same thing. We're gonna skip the next stitch and go to the next one. And skip a stitch, go to the next one. Skip this, go to the next one. Once you're ready, we're gonna slip through this loop. Just insert anywhere and slip through this loop to make a knot nice and tight. And then we can thread this in. this so that's the body for the two little arms we're also going to use the same color yarns we'll start with a magic circle insert a hook chain one we're gonna make four single crochet in the magic circle three four For this leg, I'm not going to do any increase. We're just going to go single crochet for a few rows until we get to the right length. So since this is fluffy yarn, it's a little bit hard to work with. Just take your time and do the single crochets.
So at the end, we're going to hide this tail inside the leg. There's no stuffing needed. Okay, so we are at the end of our stitch. I did about five rows. When it's long enough, I'm just going to insert and create a slip stitch. And I'm going to pull up a long tail. Let's leave a tail for the sewing. Like this. So we're going to make another one of these. Okay, we have the head, we have the body, we have the two arms. Now we're ready to sew it together. So for the head, we could have left a long tail for the sewing, but I didn't do that. So I'm just going to cut out a piece of long yarn. Sometimes it's hard to know where to put the head. And uh, when you're sewing animals together, if you have any stick or sewing needle, you can stick the sewing needle and kind of press like where you want it to sew. I'm going to stick this in to just keep it in place when I sew it. So with the long yarn, I'm going to thread it in a needle. I'm going to find an insert point, maybe just like this. For the other side, I'm going to tie a knot here to secure it. So I basically just go around and put it through the top here. And then I'll come down to find a spot underneath. Just pull it through. Just like so, and then I'll go back to find another spot in the head and just pull this through. Okay, I just repeat this all around. Find a spot in the body, go underneath. It's helpful to have a longer tail so that you have extra room. When we get to the last part, everything's all secure. There's no gaps or anything. Then we can cut this off. We can tie a knot with this one. Now for the longer tail, I can thread this in to the body. This short tail might be a little bit short for threading it in. Let me try. Okay, good. Okay, so we can just cut off the end here. out so that's the body and we're gonna do similar to the arm so for this arm I already have a tail I'm just gonna put this in so 
so for the arm I'm gonna insert it into the arm and then I'm gonna go around and find a spot in the body So when it's all good, we're just gonna find a spot to thread this through and then we'll tie a knot just like this and we can thread this in the body. Yes. Mommy, look at this, look at this, ready? Okay, now the main body is done. So we just need to wrap it up with the veins. So for the veins, it's freestyle basically. So what I do is I use these red yarns. I'm going to cut out long pieces like this. Like it's up to you how long you want this to be. And I'm going to use a hook. I'll just go through, say, here. I just find a spot. Yarn this through. And I'm gonna move the yarn, the tail over like this. So that's one piece. And then I'm gonna randomly make a few other pieces in the head just like so so you can make some that are longer you can make some that are shorter so it's really up to you so it doesn't have to be a specific spot even so if you're making more than one of them everyone is unique If you want it attached to the head, you can even pull the tail over and do something like this, you know. So it's just make it random, however you like it. So this is the finished product, our Mr. Left Eye or Right Eye, whatever you want to call it. I hope you like this video. If you find this tutorial helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.